Hey there, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate an analog stopwatch in After Effects. So let's start. This is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson and this is how the layers are separated in Adobe Illustrator. Ok, now let's jump on to After Effects. So let's create a new composition window for that click over here. And let's name the composition. I am keeping it 1920 is to 1080 resolution and keeping it 30 frames per second and changing the background color to white and press OK. Alright, now let's import the illustrator file. Ok, I am clicking and dragging this composition on this composition window timeline. Ok, double click on it to open the composition. Ok, so this is the reflection. First of all, I am going to convert the blending mode of the reflection to overlay. And same with the mid section shadow as well. Ok, now I am going to select the orange fill. Right click on it, go to create and create shape from vector layer to convert the illustrator file into the shape layer. I'm going to delete the illustrator file. Let's rename it and remove outline from the name. I'm going to copy this layer again. And also I'm going to add stroke to this layer. And let's turn off the visibility of this layer and let's name it matte. Ok, now I am going to select this, copy the color code, this particular color code, Control C to copy. Jump over here in stroke, paste the color code. I am going to turn off the fill. Now I am going to increase the stroke by about 100. Or oh, let's increase it a bit around 160. So I'm going to select this fill and use the previous matte layer as an alpha mat. Okay, so here is another matte layer and we are going to use this layer also as an alpha mat for this reflection layer. So let's use it as an alpha mat. Ok. Now we are going to add trim path for this orange fill as well. So come over here in add. Click on this arrow. And click on trim path to add trim paths. Ok. Now we are going to use the clock hand. Let's solo the layer. And we are going to move the position of the anchor point and put it around here so that it rotates from this point. Alright, right now let's select the orange color fill. Go to effects and presets panel. Type in slider control. Double click on it. So the effect has been applied. And also let's decrease the value of end to 0% and again we want to this fill to rotate from here not from here. So let's go to rotation and give it a minus 90 degree of rotation. Ok. Now again go inside the trim path and give it 0% and go to effects slider control and i'm going to pick whip this end with slider control now we are going to press alt and click on this stopwatch to open the expressions panel 
and right now we are going to pick with this weight this hand rotation so click the slider control this pick whip and link it with rotation now if you change the value of rotation you can see it is the trim path value is also changing but it is changing very fast compared to the hand rotation so for that we need to edit the expression a bit so for that we need to divide this expression with 3.6 and now let's check this change the value of the rotation now it's looking perfect so let's proceed with the animation okay so before animating the clock hands we need to push the switch so for that i'm going to move the anchor point of the position position of the anchor point over here open the position property and i'm going to separate the dimensions and i'm going to put a keyframe on the y-axis let's jump on to next eight frames and i'm going to push it down let's jump on to five frames and then move this keyframe at the fifth frame okay now let's jump on to next eight frames and i'm going to copy this keyframe and again jump on to next six frame and i'm going to again put the same keyframe but at this point i'm going to add some overshoot to it so i'm going to pull it a bit above and let's easy is the keyframes by pressing f9 let's check the animation yeah it's looking perfect so at this point the stopwatch will start the hands of the stopwatch will start rotating i'm going to put a keyframe and let's jump on to next 60 frames and i'm going to give it a full rotation so 360 degrees and again i'm going to copy this keyframe so at this point it is stopping but to stop the stopwatch we need to push the button again so i'm going to move it and again i'm going to push it and then it stops yeah yeah it's looking pretty nice so we can even add some shakiness to the stopwatch as well when it is pushing it is slightly shaking so for that i'm going to add a null layer and i'm going to put this first of all move the anchor point and put it over here and i'm going to put this null, null layer at this particular position and i'm going to select all the layers and parent it with this null layer so when it is pushing i'm going to open the rotation property at this point i'm going to slightly rotate it in this side so i'm going to give it two degree of rotation or three degree of rotation and i'm going to jump on to next eight frames and I'm going to give it some overshoot. I'm going to rotate it backwards by minus two degrees. Then again, let's jump on to five frames and give it a rotation of 0 0.6. And then jump on to next four frames and give it a zero degree of rotation. Let's check out our animation. Okay, now again, I'm going to copy the same keyframes and paste it over here so like this you can animate an analog stopwatch in after effects so try it on your own and do let me know in the comment section below if you have any doubt regarding the lesson and that is it for this lesson hope you learned a lot from it 
So if you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I will be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.